This is my role. My eyes are on the speaker. Tell me why. Because <laughs> that looks fantastic. Right, OK, nine orange. Just have you lining up nice and quiet with me, please, ladies. The beginning of the new school year at St Saviour's and St Olaf's in London holds a challenge for advanced skills DT teacher Kelly Hall. Julia, have you up both? Right, OK, nine hours, and am waiting for you to be quiet so we can go in, please. How to get the boisterous year nine to toe the line. Quick as possible, you're handing your blazers up. Put your bags in the boxes underneath for me, girls. Quick as possible. John Bailey's sitting in. Now, there's still some people standing up. Take a seat for me. The next ten seconds will be the only time that Kelly mentions the rules. Two rules that I have. When I'm talking, I want everybody's eyes front, pencils down, and when other people are talking, you are listening, OK? Because it's really important that you're listening to what each other is saying, all right? Cindy, first one on the register. Yeah. Hannah, second one on the register. Aisha is sitting right here. Yeah, Kelly maintains discipline by rewarding positive behaviour. But will it work with Nine Orange? And what do I want you to get out of your folders? You're big up for, OK? I want to be praising you this lesson and I need you all out on the front so I can give you as many credits and things as possible. Part of the lesson is being prepared. So if you want to get your rewards, if you want to fill your wall up, then make sure you bring your folders, OK? If you haven't got it, then you can't get them. The first thing you want them to get out uh, of their bags is their big up chart. What is it and what's it for? It's in the front cover of their folder and it's so that as soon as they come into their lesson, they know it's going to be about positive praise. One of the things I'm going to do today, you know what I said, you've got your big up wall, OK, and how important it is that we're positive. What I'm going to do is, as you answer questions, I'm going to put a tick by your name so that when you're working, I can come round and put your stickers on your big up wall. OK, so Shannon's got one and Aisha's got one so far. No. It has really engaged them. They're really enthusiastic about taking part in the discussions. So they're not sitting there, switching off, daydreaming, possibly tempted to chat to the person next to them. They're wanting to listen. They, they want to get... The, the rewards that are going to go on their folder. The first lesson of the year is about product analysis. One of those chairs is ergonomic, one of them isn't. So you talk to me, first of all, about the differences between those two chairs. Juliet. It will mould to the back of your... Oh, good word there. It will mould to the back of you. OK, so there's some really good words there. Flexible and mould. Cindy! No one has a headrest. Right, OK, so it has got a headrest. Let's put a little mark on Cindy's. What else can I adjust? Shaniqua? You can adjust your sitting position. I can adjust the sitting position. <coughs> and all of those different panels will be able to be adjusted, OK? But it's just a little smiley face sticker, just little recognition of a positive contribution that they make. <laughs> right, where's your big up walls, girls, so I can put your stickers on while you are writing? All right, Abigail, you've got five. My gosh. I'm going to be running out of stickers with you, love. I have one in. You've got a blue one. Let's give you two different colours, just cos... You know what I like about colour, me. And they work, don't they? I see their faces light up mm. when they get these stickers. Credit, cos that looks fantastic, OK? And Julia, you've got... Credit doesn't mean actually Yeah, yeah. Yeah, girls, if you get a credit sticker, that means a credit. And you've got a special one, you get that at the end of the lesson. Will that happen all the way through the year? Will they ever grow out of it? I hope not. I only started doing it last year with a, a similar Year 9 group who were quite challenging, and it worked extremely well. It just got them focused. Now, we're going to look at this hairbrush. That is a 49p, very ergonomic hairbrush. Tell me why. I know. Um, um, because they're plastic, does it go through your hair more easily? And... Right, it has got flexible bristles, OK? That is the first way in which it's ergonomic. Who hasn't talked to me today? I have. Asatu. Because of the handle. What about the handle? I'm dragging the info it's out. The shape. Of... Right, the shape of the handle. Because of this curve here, because of the shape of it. So brilliant, yes. 
It moulds to your hand. Grace, what else about that hairbrush, we have? Because it's the, like, the bristles softer. Right, yeah, they are flexible. We've got that. What else about those bristles? I don't know. <gasps> The, the, the little balls on the end are going to stop the bristles from scratching your head. OK, so we've got the handle is ergonomically shaped. The bristles are flexible and they've got the little bubbles on the top. I think you're distributing your questions quite widely. Mm -hmm. And I think you're trying to engage... You're trying to engage them all in dialogue. Yes. I'm aiming most of them at students that are volunteering, but sometimes teasing out information from the students that are less um, likely to want to take part. I'm thinking of one, two, three more. You might even come up with more. Sophie, it's waterproof because what material is it? Plastic. It's plastic. Why do we need our hairbrush waterproof, Chanel? Going on so what you just said? It. Yeah, so you can clean it. OK, so it's important. So when we're looking at their bright, shiny faces, uh, being keen to engage in the conversation, Part of it is to do with the fact that you're distributing questions around the room um, uh, all the time. And part of it is, I don't just get a sticker for a right answer, I get a sticker for a good participation. Yes. You have got five minutes for the next task. Individually, I want you to look at that kettle and label it, annotate it, with as many different ways that you think the designer has considered ergonomics. OK, I'll put the timer up. Five minutes on your own without sharing as many different ways as possible, you think a designer's considered the ergonomics of that kettle. Just over two and a half minutes, and then we're going to share. Well, what else does it have? I've got this one. Oh, on and you've got about 30 seconds left. You've got your bomb with the fizzing fuse. Why is that a good thing? It just gives them... Those boundaries, they know that they've got this amount of time. Um, and with this particular group, I found it worked really well. Because when the bomb goes off and the, the noise sounds, it really does focus them. And they know that's the end of that. And then they refocus back on me and the next activity. It did work really well. <laughs> OK. Put pens down for me, please. Megan? If you give them a chance to get bored, that's when they're going to misbehave. Thank you. Keeping strict times on them and keeping a good pace there keeps the lesson going. They haven't got the time to misbehave yeah, and get yeah, bored. Yeah. Right, now that kettle you've got in front of you, tell me, how have they considered ergonomics? Sophie, before she falls off her chair. The handle, I think, because, like, where, um, where the shape of it, it sort of moulds into your hand, sort of thing. Yep, the shape of the handle, it moulds into your hand. Absolutely spot-on Heriel, Deborah. Think of two. But Amy Jo, what were we talking about just now? The handle is, like, too far away from the flicky bit. Yeah. So you've got to reach your thumb over. But if you look at it, you're going to have to have some really long thumb to be able to reach that little button from holding it at the back. So they've thought about it, but they've not necessarily done it as well as they could have. That is really good. Anything else? Cindy? Um, you know when you know when the kettle is on because it's like it has a little red light. Yep, it's got a light. All right, that's really important. With a red light, you know when the kettle's on. You're you're pretty generous in your verbal praise. When people get the answer right, um, you let them know, oh, yeah. and you do it really emphatically. Because they love to get that instant feedback. It's a boost to their confidence. And for some of them, putting their hand up and giving an answer and the the chances that it could be wrong is quite a challenge for them. So if the fact that they... It, the praise is more for the fact that they've given it a go. All right, Deborah's picked one that I've obviously missed. Yeah. Um, you know where the glass is, yeah? Where the handle is, um, <coughs> it's social from burning yourself with the... Um, oh, actually, that's probably the most important one. That is actually a really, really big one. That's really important. I didn't... I missed that one. What do you think is more important, the verbal praise or the stickers? Verbal praise. And although they love getting the stickers, the verbal prose, I think, means more. Yeah. Because I... everybody hears it. Whereas the stickers, I go around and do it individual. One, I take their folders in. It will go on there then. But the verbal prose is instant. It's instant. Everybody hears it. Mm -hmm. It raises the general atmosphere in the room. It makes you a more likeable uh, person. It's got all those things, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Definitely. And it? And it shows the route to your attention. I'm going to give each table a pen. 
and I want you to analyse it. So I want you to think about what materials, who it's for, all right, does it work well? Is it easy to use? Does it feel good to hold? Okay, so I'm going to bring that around. You're getting my duck. I want you to look at that one. Okay, Nine Orange, can I have your attention for just five seconds? Nine Orange, I need your attention for just five seconds once everyone is listening, looking this way. It's already taken five times as long as I want to speak. Shh. Got the worksheet. You're not without fangs, are you? No. <laughs> if I push you too far, I'll get um, I'll find out about it, won't I? Five minutes. But you didn't apply a single sanction. No. Oh, careful. So rubbish. Right, there's plenty of time. You can share. When, if ever, do you apply a sanction? Very rarely. Very rarely have to now. By doing working positively with them, it sort of reduces the need for sanctions, making the lessons engaging, fun, um, being able to keep praising them and dealing with things on a lower level. I think that's come through experience. I think all teachers will say that. This is my pen. This is one of my favourite pens, OK? So when I do it that way, it's a pencil. What do you lot think of it, though? Sophie. When it's all metal or something like that, it's not as comfortable as you'd think. But when you've got a bit of rubber, it actually, like, it's more comfortable for yeah. your hand. Not yes. And it's also quite safe because you, um, when you want to, like, put the pen back inside, you just have to press that button. Yeah, it's like... easy to, to retract yeah. it so that it's not pointing out. So that's a good one as well. This one's more about aesthetics. What did you lot think of it, Abigail? We thought that the pen wasn't that nice to write with, but it looked good, so it was, it was more aesthetic than it was functional. OK. They're making good progress in this lesson, aren't yes, they? Yes, they are. They're applying what they've learned about the ergonomics to something that they're physically okay. playing with. A lot of that doesn't come out of a how to manage behaviour manual. A lot of it comes out of how to plan lessons with flow and engagement and pre-plan them properly so that everything's in the right place at the right time. Oh, definitely. Definitely. It's a 100-minute lesson. So I like them to have a lot of good resources, a lot of hands-on things, a lot of visuals. Your behaviour management you're teaching is absolutely organic, isn't it? It's not, it's not two separate departments. No. Right, I want to see the following people before they leave. Amy Jo, Juliet, Hannah, Deborah, please. Those people I want to see before we go. No, you're not in trouble. There it is. Now, come to here with me. My little credit card's to it. Give it a blow for it to dry. Who else have I got here? Oh, oh, that is so cute. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, miss. Give it a blow. Oh, OK, we need to keep this up, all right, cos you were just absolutely fantastic today. All right, some really, really spot-on answers. Thank you. I want to see more of it next week. All right, well done with you spotting that answer, yeah, OK, cos I didn't pick that up. No, it was really good. Okay. All right, then, Thank you. In terms of them being the class you want them to be, um, how far down the road are they? I think another two, three weeks. And we'll have established all of the routines that we have. They'll know my expectations without me having to go over them. And I think we'll have achieved that good working relationship. Mm -hmm.